get it, let's get it. All the boys, girl, like, comment, subscribe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, you know what's crazy? I don't know if people were watching. And yeah, people were texting me talking about something. What the fuck happened? They were? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, tell them, tell them people you was texting to subscribe to my channel. Okay. That's all they need to do. Make sure I subscribe to this channel. Oops, this channel. Huh? I was telling them. Tell them to subscribe, though. And, and tell them dudes in your phone to subscribe to it, too. And make sure y'all like, comment, and go subscribe to my boy channel. And make oh. sure you like, subscribe to mine, too. Right, right. So, okay. Yeah, we, we, I don't know what happened. We had some technical difficulties. But uh, okay. So we're talking about Roe versus Wade. But this is my thing right here. Though. Women say they want respect. They want men to respect them and treat them right. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Roll your eyes like you man. Okay. But women say they want to respect them, treat them right, and treat them like women. And you know. But my thing is when Throat Baby came out and Megan Thee Stallion had big old freak and they was shot, clapping ass cheeks. And they was goddamn shaking that ass. I mean, busting it wide open and throat free. Like, they was goddamn, like, they was sucking dick, sucking penises. And, you know what I'm saying, doing cucumber challenges. What was the protection at then? That's tough. I mean, you are what you put out there. So, mm -hmm. um, at first, first hand. I ain't going to say you are what you put out there, but whatever you put out there, whatever you receive back, don't be mad with the the backlash you receive. Be real with you. Um, have, we was just having fun. We was just turning up. Like, we ain't really. That was the first year of Hot Girl Summer. We was in the middle of COVID. We was having fun. We was locked up in the house. Having a goddamn time of our life. You know it's funny though? Women say Hot Girl Summer because they know they, they ride or they... They prime, they short prime don't last forever though. Like this hot girl, so much shit. They know my type type. Is I like I feel like a lot of these women. Why do all these people look at these celebrities? Because it's wrong. These celebrities are not living this lifestyle. It's entertainment, and women are really living like this. Like you, I always say, I'm hot girl on social media, but in real life, I'm in love. <laughs> Real life, I'm in love with somebody. Okay, but why why put that out there on social media that you like that for what reason? It's social media is a joke. I always find social media is a joke. I'm be real. If you look at my Facebook page, I always gotta say, "Yo, it's a joke. Chill out, Ch chill out." Like, so you feel like when women post twerking videos, that's not them in real life. They just doing it for fun. No, for fun. Body positivity. If Fuck I want, it, it. it's my fault. No. Deal. Ain't no way in hell I'd be in a relationship with a woman taking her ass on social media. Hell no. I, I don't mean, even think I would, I don't even want to date a woman serious with social media, me personally. Unless, yeah, unless she, oh, wait, let me finish. Unless she got a legit business. That's the only way I date with social media. Because yeah. what's the purpose? If you ain't got it for a business, you just on here just. Like, I know. You're ooh. trying to link up with people, basically. I know what I'm in school for. I know I have to stop doing what I'm doing. Point blank, period. Like, I know that she's going to have to. Stop, cause why would you want a psychologist out here shaking her ass? <laughs> like, be real with you. I mean, do you feel like that's that's out of order though for a lot of black women? Because mostly black women do this. You don't see white women twerking, shaking their ass. Asian women, Korean. Why are only black women out here twerking and shaking their ass, and busting it wide open, drop, pop, locking and dropping that shit? Cause y'all tell us to. I ain't gonna say y'all. No, tell y'all too. Y'all decide to do it. That's what, like I said, it falls back into what's put out there. Like, oh, I'm gonna be noticed if I do this. Like body image. Oh, I gotta have. I ain't gotta have no waist, but I gotta have this big old fat ass and this big ass, some big ass titties and a pretty face for this man to want me. This is how this man views these women. He like or he speaks. And it's like it's kind of funny though. These, these rappers talk about that, but rappers never marry those type of women. Their wives don't even be on social media like that, or whatever the case may be. Their wives are totally opposite. They only get groupies and shit like that, or they baby mama they don't fuck with. 
the rappers or no men of value to marry these type of women with fat asses and big titties and all that shit. Yeah. I don't understand that shit though. So it's like so so basically if you're saying women would rather be rather want attention than be respected. Not to interrupt you. Yeah. I heard somebody say this before. Who he posting on social media, who he done wiped up, that's what's good for his image. But that side bitch, that's what he wanted his heart. Real shit. I don't believe that though. You don't? Social media is not, but uh, social media is a facade. Anybody can post what they will on social media. I'm just saying, think about it. Like, imagine if Beyonce was out here facing her ass doing what she was doing or whatever. One prime example, Megan Stallion doing that shit. Yeah, that's that girl image or whatever. That's what she put out there. But the trophy wife, nice, skinny, petite girl or whatever, that's good for his image. But the girl he fucking on and all that shit, that's who he really want. But guess what? He can't post shoddy with the pink hair, the real fat ass and big ass titties, the stripper girl, because that's not good for his image. Well, no, 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 no. The stripper women, those are side bitches. Those My are side pieces. That's what the heart. The, that's what the heart want. No, that's what the dick want. No. The dick do that. That's that dick talk. Not stick talk. That's that stick talk right there. That's the stick talk. That's a side mission. That's another thing. Women, as I realized, is it okay? So, would you agree that women rather be want attention than respect? Though that's what I feel like right now. They rather want attention than respect. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I would like the respect. Nah. You respect yourself. I respect myself one hundred percent. Okay. Because anything I do is on my terms. Anything. That's even with the shit I got going on, like my Twitter. That shit I that shit I put out there. That shit I told you, go ahead and tag me and post me or whatever. That's this what I did. Not you do it because oh, cause I seen this bitch get recorded. No. Nah. It's because I told you. And do, you like, mm -hmm. do, do you feel like a whore because you post yourself on Snapchat to get fucked for money? No. That's my business. I ain't gonna say that's my business, but that's my little side hustle. Like I said, there's so many, but there's so many ways you can make money. You don't have to do that. Though. I needed fast money at the time, and that's the only way. Why? I but why? But well, don't you feel like that's a gateway for being a whore or a prostitute? Like no. internet prostitute? No, never been prostitute. I'm not saying. Don't you feel like that's a gateway for that though? I ain't gonna go sell no pussy in person. They ain't me personally. That's why I draw the line. I ain't gonna go sell no pussy. I mean, you are selling. You selling online though. For how much you selling it for online? Like my what's on my menu? Like my videos? Yeah. yeah. Fifteen to forty five or up. Fifteen forty five. Yeah. Okay. Your family know you do this? Mm, yeah. My mom does. Ooh. What about your father? No. What did, would you tell him? When he ready for that conversation, because once upon a time, um, when I was 18, I had an OnlyFans, and somebody stumbled across my page who knew my family and brought it to their attention. It was like, this is what she doing. I came home, and my daddy had my stuff packed. I got off work, came they had my stuff packed. They was like, oh, you're going to be doing this. You can be here. And I was like, fuck you. I need some money. Y'all ain't helping me pay for school. I left. There's so many other ways to make money. You ain't got to do that shit, fam. That's an excuse. There's so many ways to make money. So many programs. People saying that is an excuse, though, I think. Just to sound like they got a struggle or a hustle and shit. I don't believe that shit, fam. I mean, yeah, it I is. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think it's bullshit. Wait, wait. I think it's bullshit. Go ahead pay for it right then and there. They was like, oh, you got this. You got this 35? Okay, you ain't got the 35. Let's set up this payment plan. Oh, in two weeks, we need this 800. Oh, you working at sales club? Oh, we don't cover the 800? We got to drop you from the program then. Sorry. <laughs> like, it was like, damn. <laughs> hey, man, when there's a will, there's a way. And there's ways out here to make money, and you ain't got to sell your ass. Keep your, keep your pride, dignity, and most importantly, self-respect. 
respect that. Like, I really do. But like I said, in real life, them bills ain't going to wait on no two weeks. Like, at the time, I wasn't making enough money to cover rent, car, school, then turn around daily life shit. So it was like, shit, I'm making, making a check just to pay bills. And I, at the time, like I said, I was trying to invest in myself, make my business. And because I didn't have the funds or the support to support my own business, because I was like, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. It was like. My thing is this, though, you got to struggle. Why is everybody so obsessed with fast money? Nothing come easy. Nothing nothing you want won't come easy, though. There's plenty of ways around it. There's a support system out there. There's ways to get it, how you can get it. But I just think people don't want to work nine to five as a job because they feel like they're beneath them. So they rather just fucking on camera. I I work in nine to five. You know I do. That's, I'm, you know what I do. So it was like, it, I mean, that's what I have to wait for. I know that money ain't going to come slowly, but we know what I do. Like, people who know me, they know what I do. My main job is. So it was like, am I going to wait on this monthly salary? Bills due today. These How like, much you how much you making off only for um, Snap Premium? On Snapchat Premium, on average, on a good day, on a good good day, I probably make a thousand. Make a thousand dollars a day? Are they taxed a day? A day, like that's what I make. How much you making a month? In a month, if I ain't splurging, if I'm not keeping up with it, I'm just putting that shit in my account and just like, oh, let me go buy this, go buy that, real quick. Probably a month. I probably made close to ten. You make ten thousand a month doing this. Are they taxing this money? Yeah, cause when you, cause I don't want my real name on my cash app, so I put like my Instagram name on there, so that way, like you know, they taxing that money when cash app taxing that money like a business account. Okay. 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 Oh. Um, you and feel, then, do you feel empowered or something when you're posting yourself and getting fucked on the internet? Or? Like I said, I sell a fantasy. It's yeah. Because I'm giving you the idea. You can come fuck me. I'm letting you feel like we got this relationship. And we gonna fuck. Right. Okay. Because yeah. in your head, you about to give me this 2500 to come fly out to California for you. Put me in a nice ass hotel, and you about to spend more money to wine dine me, and hopefully pray to God that I didn't spend this much money to not get no pussy. I ain't spend no money to get no pussy. No more. The woman don't want to be with me just to be with me. It ain't worth fuck that shit. And I'm very open about what I do. I'm very open. I'm like, hey, this is what I do. Somebody come to you, tell you this what she did. Yeah, I did it. I'm guilty. Okay. What it is? What you gonna do about it? you gonna stop talking to me? Oh well, don't okay. give okay. I, I got other priorities. Okay, okay. Now, let me find it funny, y'all. Y'all talk a whole lot of shit about this, but I just feel like it's gonna be a whole lot of lonely old women. I think coming up in the facility, oh. it's gonna be a lot of old women lonely, old and lonely. I ain't talking about you. I'm just saying it. You know? I don't know. Uh, you, you I told. The situation I got going on, be real. You already know the situation I got going on. So, besides that, don't nobody know me in real life, for real. Okay. They don't know me. Like, they know Christiana, but they don't know Christiana. You might know me, but you might know of me, but you don't know, know me. Uh, why not just be a porn star? I ain't want to do that. I mean, you're already fucking on the internet, and they see you fucking. You might get more money and do it. I ain't gonna go to do that because I'm gonna be real. When I did the research about me before I do something, I do some research. So, like, I was seeing how much them girls really made off of am amateur porn. I'm like, bitch, I might as well keep making this little nine to five. How much did they make off of amateur porn? <sighs> On average, like, amateur porn, just the video, $500. Okay. On the video, the minimum. Like, I'm also go sit here and do this OnlyFans and let that shit rack up. That's why I stopped OnlyFans, because when I let that shit rack up, it was like, damn, I got to wait five to ten business days, a.k.a. a check, 
to get this money. Like, when... So maybe because you quit your real, your real job and just do snap premium? No. I, like I said, I have a set goal on what I want to do in life. Okay. Yes, I know what I'm doing. going to come back. It always... Hmm? No, but finish what you're saying? I'm like, I know what I'm doing. It's going to come back. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean up what the fuck I'm doing because, like, I always tell myself, I don't want to be known as the freaky girl. I don't want to be known as the the girl out here doing But, like I say, you are what you put out. So when you get that backlash, you better be ready to come, be ready for that backlash that come with it. Like, when my job found out, oh, you do this. Yeah, I do. Your job can't even say it? Huh? Your job came back then and said it? Yeah. Like my how, did they find, how did they find out? Because a parent. It's a small and, and what did they say to you? Your You're so listening to yourself. Yeah, I am. And what they said after that? What, 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 was the, what, happened, what was the result of that? I told them I'm not, I don't got y'all school plastered across my ass while I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't tell people why I work. That man just, that that parent, his baby mama or whoever she is, happened to go through his phone to see what he was doing. She seen me, oh, it's a small world. We stay in the same city. Dang, that's crazy. Maybe... Because my kid go here, they going to fire her. They going to fuck up. Her. Like, I'm going to fuck her money up. So let me tell them. Because that's what she thought the result was going to come out with. Okay. Well, you teach kids, right? Mm-hmm. What grade? I teach preschool. Okay. And Miss Christiana is getting her back blown out Saturday evening. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, okay. Supposed to be turn to chapter five. No, you was turned over getting your ass fucked out. Damn. Yeah. Is this the life you want to live in the next five, ten years of getting fucked on camera on Snapchat? You say you're 21? Yeah. You want to be 30, 26 doing this? No, that's why I'm in school. I go to, I'm enrolled in two schools right now. I go to Winston-Salem State. I'm in school to be a childhood. And I also am right now enrolled in Stanley for my EDU classes so I can get my child development degree. So I'm going to do something for my kids because that piece of done. Okay, okay, okay. See, like this, I'd rather do that than go out here and try to sell drugs and be at risk of getting locked up. No. You, you basically feel like you're selling your soul, though? Mm, no. Okay. You feel like I, this, I don't. Would you recommend other kids to do what you're doing? Sadly, yeah. Would you recommend like yo 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 students to get fucked on camera? I'm. I won't say yes and no. What that mean? You should, you should one of those. You can't look by its cover because I know some of my kids' mama who out there shaking their ass on the pole tonight. I mean, talking about doing talking about too. Do you mm-hmm. recommend for your kids to get fucked on camera? I mean, they're in fucking preschool. That's I'm just saying, dude, if they come to you and say, "I want to be like you and get a Snapchat premium, get fucked," would you recommend that for them? My kids don't know what I do. Okay. 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 What is a four-year-old watching porn for? You know, they start early now. They got these phones. No, my kids don't. I can tell you that right now. Well, but I need you to answer that question. But would you recommend for them to do that? No. Okay. 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 Like I would recommend a high schooler to go hit the pole when they turn eight. But like if a, you said but what? Like, if this is what that's what you're showing, showing growing up, it's like oh, I watch my daddy sell drugs, so let me go sell these drugs. I watch my brother sell drugs, go sell them drugs. Oh, shit, I'm struck. Shit, let me go sell. Let me go get a couple of leaks. Let me go shake my ass. Because it wasn't no, it's no resources to get 
to help us was no resource sources shown to us to help us other than yeah go get that nine to five wait on that money little paycheck to paycheck I mean basically doing that too so you ready to compromise your morals your integrity just for a piece of money if you'll fuck and do all that for money you'll do anything for money you'll do anything for money mm. me fucking on camera basically you'll do any damn thing mm. if somebody in my line right now was like I'll give you 5k to come fuck me no Okay. You feel like when people follow you on social media, like what? Do you do you feel like your dad, like you feel like your parents had loved you enough growing up? Yeah, I do. Do you feel like your daddy gave you enough kisses and hugs? My dad always traveled, so recently when my dad, this is the most my dad ever been at home my whole life. So you so you feel like your father was there for you? Um. He was a phone. So you feel like this right here is a way to get back? Like, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go no. fuck on camera. No. Did your daddy ever tell you he was beautiful? All the time. He used to give you a lot of hugs and kisses and pick you up? Yeah. He used to call you a princess? A queen? No. Okay. Well, if you don't do it, somebody else going to do it. It's going to be bad. He ain't going to be your daddy. I know that. How many other guys you call daddy? I don't call him. You don't call him man daddy? No, not really. Only when you fuck him? <laughs> <laughs> no. It right. I really don't. If he asks for it, it's like, it's kind of cringy to me. It's low-key kind of cringy. Why is it cringy? Because it's like, why do you want somebody to call you daddy? Then especially if you got a child, I'm like, ugh. Mm. Oh, that's why you attracted older men because you, you feel like they can they can teach you something. Though. They're more mature. Damn. I feel like my daughter, if I find out my daughter was fucking on camera, I feel like I failed as a father. Though. You feel like your dad was a good dad to you? Your parents were good parents to you? Yeah. I mean, it's my choice. they not the cause of my choices. I have my own mind. You feel like you're embarrassing your family name doing this? No. Okay. Like, I'm, I you, you feel like this is normal? What I did? Yeah. Mm. Stripping normal. What are you talking about, David? talking about you. I don't <laughs> like how y'all ladies try to change the subject with everything. Yeah, like, I'm being honest. Stripping is normal. You feel no. like fucking on camera is normal, though. Or any of that. <laughs> sex work. All this sex work is normal. Selling a fantasy, like I said. No, you're selling your body. No, selling a fantasy. You're selling your body on the internet, though. Yeah. You realize this stuff is out there forever, though, right? So if you had kids, you got to explain it to them. Explain this to them, right? I will. You gonna, you gonna look him in the eye and tell him your mom was fucking on camera? Yeah. You feel like that's being selfish? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that some of y'all mamas done did and ain't tell y'all. We ain't talking about everybody, but we're talking about too. I know, and I will be very honest with my kids. Extremely mm -hmm. honest. Do you feel like you're being selfish right now? Hmm? Do you feel like you're being selfish? How am I being selfish? Uh, doing this. You don't think you're embarrassing the family or embarrassing yourself when people are uh, see you? I mean, some people are yeah, embarrassing. See, we got guys like that right there. We raised by single mothers and talking shit. They pay the One thing, point blank, period. I, I'm doing better than most, baby. I'm doing way better than most. I don't have no kids. Okay. I'm, and I work a job. So, baby, I'm going to be very, very extremely honest. Yeah, maybe I don't got what y'all think is ideally together, but I'm doing way better than most of these bitches out here because I know a bitch right now sucking dick for $40. I don't suck dick for $40. I ain't sucking nobody dick for no money. Point blank, period. So. What, you, what you fucking on camera for money? 
Yeah. But I don't say you can't say you're better than her. If that's self righteous, you comparing yourself saying you're better than her because she's sucking dick for forty dollars, but you got only fans. Now I ain't judging nothing. Oh, you I have a Snapchat premium, and like you said, that shit don't yeah. go away. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be real. Like I said, it's my choice on what the fuck I do and what the fuck I do it. And it's not like I'm out here doing with it, everybody out here. I'm doing it with one person and one person only, and that's it. Point blank, period. And yeah, I'm doing it on camera. It's my choice. But well, say, say if you go to the next relationship, how you gonna look in the eye and say I was fucking for money on the internet? You judging oh well. You said what? Like if you judging oh well. That's not judging. You must have judge people by the actions though. My past is the past. Everybody got past. But past has got consequences though. Yeah, I know. You realize the consequences of what you're doing? Yes, I do. You, what's the consequences you think behind this? Like I said, you don't want no psychologists out here being what they doing, so no, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I actually, what do you feel like the consequence of living this promiscuous lifestyle? What do you mean promiscuous? Fucking having sex with one person because promiscuous. So you're monogamous, huh? So you're monogamous. I mean, you have just sex with one person. You saying? Yes, I'm having sex with one person. Okay. 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 What do you mean? I'll say? I'm very honest with you. Only nah, honest. I'm listening. I'm just listening. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just feel like you know, basically, I feel like this right here. When women are fucking on camera, they just really, really have low self esteem, and they're doing it so guys can praise them, and you know, guys can worship them and thirst after them. That's what I think. No, I don't pay attention to them at all. You feel like when guys watch your snap and they pay, you feel like you got fans or celebrities? I don't feel like I got fans. I just feel like it's a horny guy who wants to get his nut off and just watch me shake my ass. You respect those guys? I don't. Why you don't respect them? Because, I don't know. And most of the, I'm going to be real, most of the tell are older horny men who are kind of looking at their washed up wife. So... Oh yeah, washed up. That's gonna be you one day. You gonna get old too, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna get old, but I don't judge. But it's just like, you know, oh, because I'm gonna be real with you. All that shit, like, oh, I would give you the world. I would buy you this. I would buy you that. Cool. Is this broken? This, like I say, it's it's broke. It's fucking broken promises. And I very learned that soon when I was working at the strip club. It's fucking broken promises. Well, there's a lot of broken people going to the strip club in the first place. Yeah. And working at the strip club. Don't you think about that? I was a stripper. I was a bartender. So I listened. Anyways, to... there was broken listened... people going there. I was going there, man. When... Oh, I... You say you're going to go to be a psychologist? Mm-hmm. Oh god, that's so fucking toxic. Oh fuck. Fuck. God damn, let me get another drink. Shit. Psychologist. Oh shit. Why you wanna do that though? The human mind I've been always found the human mind and mental health very interesting. So yeah. Cause mm -hmm. especially in the black community, we wasn't out to deal with our mental health. It was always suck it up. It is what it is. It's life. You feel like you need therapy? I got a therapy. Do you have emotional trauma? Yeah, I do. I you do. Feel like you're emotionally scarred? I don't say emotionally, but I mean physically. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yeah, I have. Probably. You have been emotionally scarred. You're fucking on camera for money. <sighs> Let me ask you this, man. When the last time your dad gave you a hood? Yesterday. This morning. Yeah, this morning. I'm talking about your actual father, not your daddy that's fucking you. No, I'm talking about my actual fucking father. Okay. <laughs> All right, now. All right, okay. So, yeah, yeah. I just feel like women do, they ain't got to do relationship with their dad. Did your mama love you? Did your mama used to curse you out a lot? 
But in the black community, women don't really take care for their, their daughters that much. Does your, your mother love you? Huh? Does your mother love you? Yeah. Me and my mom really didn't start talking to. I got older because my mom was always at work, and I grew up with my grandma and my grandma. So my grandma. Do you feel like you and your mother had a tight relationship, a good relationship as a mother and daughter should? Mm, yeah. Yeah, think about it. That's a no. I feel like you're lying. No, we did. I mean, I don't know how to put this. You, you show your love how you received it. So my parents show their love by giving, giving money and stuff and like, Come to my mom and be like, that's not what I want. This is what I want. So that's why I always catch myself with my relationship right now, where if I fuck up, I'm going to buy him something to go fix what I fucked up on, when in reality, we need to sit down and talk about it like adults. Cool thing. This is the black community right here. You got to get there. We got to get fixed. I'm in therapy. Damn. I was, I was, How long have you been going to therapy? I've been going to therapy for about three months now. How often do you go? I go every Tuesday. And, <laughs> but every other Tuesday. You, you need it, though. I, I think you uh, need a lot of therapy. Uh, <laughs> I think you need to know how to love yourself so you can love anybody that's, else. That's the crazy part. You say what? I love myself a lot. Listen, 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 listen. You need to know how to love yourself or you love anybody else. Because you I got just, emotional childhood trauma residue on you. You got to get that off and move forward in life. You see what I'm saying? No, I do. I don't cope with my shit. I don't talk. I'm fixing my problems. Like you said, you can't love yourself too. I mean, you can't love nobody else till you love yourself. So it's like, I'm fixing my shit. And... Sometimes you might need a little help, like, hey, I'm here for you. Like, I'm going to be real. Like, it's more, like I always say, it's more than into a relationship. Yeah, that's part of a relationship. Yeah, we're going to fuck. But he's actually here for me and stuff. Do you feel like a father taught you how to love yourself? Like, how a man should love you? Yes. He done showed me the right way, and me and my dad had our conversation where I told him, like I said, I sat down and had a real adult conversation with my parents and was like, the way y'all showed me love. So, in other words, it is what it is. And like I always told them, is this something I And I have been working on it. Okay. You feel, why why women like to date men out their league? What do you mean? Like to date men out their league, like they they going for guys they know they have no shot at or not for them. I never dated out my league, so I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I don't know how to ask that question. I mean, maybe that bitch like shit. I got that potential. Just shit, put me on. Mm. How tall are you? Is? I'm five four. Okay. How much weight? I'm one eighty. Do you go to the gym? Mm-hmm. I just started working out here there recently. When you started working out? Started working out probably beginning this month. How often yeah. you go to the gym? How often you go to the mm -hmm. gym? How you go? I'll go first thing in the morning before I go to work. I said, how many how many times a week you go? Three. I try. You might need to Working bump it up. up. You might need to bump it up to four or five. Are you trying to be fucking funny? No, I'm not trying to be funny. Whoa. Yeah. I'm saying though, why black women don't like going to the gym? I don't. I'm not saying I don't like going to the gym, but I'm just saying most black women don't like going to the gym. I don't know. You gotta ask them. But I'm just saying, though, like, every time I go, it's mostly white women, or there's very few black women there. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. 
How long you be in the gym? Uh, probably about three. No, I ain't gonna lie. Two hours at the most. Okay. You got a personal trainer? That's good. You need to stick with that, man. Yeah, working on my diet and stuff. That's first work. Working that start in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, you're serious about it, bro. I know, I don't Ooh. cook. And stuff. I don't cook carbs, fried foods, sweets, and all that. Because you know a lot of black women die from diabetes and heart disease, you no know, obesity. I know. My dad has. So. It's a food. So that's why I got real big. That is harder about working out and stuff. I mean, my dad was working out, but he didn't find out he was eight at a field. Yeah, that's why I think, you know, we hit the gym about four or five times a week. You know, put it in there, no sweat, no pain, no gain. You know, you need to get it. So reason really, black women scared to sweat. Do I get they scared to mess up their hair or their weave? Or, you know, I don't know. Well, that's another thing. A lot of black women say they real, but they wear fake hair and weave. And heels and all that. How they real? I don't get it. They wearing fake shit. Dude. You gotta ask them. I mean, I don't think I wear fake braids. A protective so. You don't wear fake lashes and nails? Yeah, I wear lashes. Okay. To enhance what I have. And I never said, oh, like, I never said yeah, I wear some lashes. Yeah, I wear some. I feel like it's the only way for women to enhance or lie. Or filtered it be I call it filter, not enhanced, it's filtering. Well there ain't no way for a man to filter. Ain't no filters or nothing. You just gotta have money or you just look good. Mm. I feel like that's unfair or that's fair. I mean if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. You ever had sex with an ugly man? No. Has the guy ever called you ugly? No. You feel like you're pretty? Yeah. How pretty do you think you are? I'm pretty so. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good confidence right there. What do guys usually uh, rate you? What do they usually put you at? I know. When you talking about the nine piece chicken wings, right? No, I'm talking about the nine. I had to say that joke though. I had to say that. I had to say that. Not the nine piece with the biscuit. The crazy part, I don't even like chicken. You don't like chicken? Stop lying. It is. You like you got chicken arms. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I think I'm off that wine. That wine got me talking right now. I think I'm off. Um, damn. Mm, I'm about to say something. Just okay. Okay. Right, right. You uh, you like, why why you feel like a lot of women like guys with money, power, and status? Do you think? Hmm. Because me personally, it just shows like he got something going for himself. Like he got something going for himself. He does not know nigga out here smoking weed. And fucking bitches. Mm. So you like guys that fuck a lot of bitches? No. Don't like them. You said what? Don't like community dick. I can't hear you. I said I don't like community dick. Okay. You feel like, do you feel like with your past, you don't feel like you're damaged goods or used and abused? Wait, what did you, you say? You feel like with your sexual history past, you don't feel like you're damaged goods or used and abused? Yeah, I was abused. I was abused emotionally and physically in my past relationship, yeah. You don't feel like your body count can affect how you feel about guys? I ain't been with a lot of people. You ain't been with that many people? Um, you realize your body your body count is gonna be higher than the, the future guy you be with though, right? Because most women are having sex with guys. I'm not. Pussy like this, I double back before I go. Well, well, that still count though because he he fucked a lot of people. 
So you got to kiss his body now. I see your point. See, see, you trying to think. See, think. You can't outsmart me like that. I'm a vet to this shit. You know this? You trying to outsmart a player. I, I do this point. shit. I'm not new to this shit. I'm true to this shit. I do this shit. You know what I'm saying? That don't work on me right now. That's bullshit. Like, Come on. I, huh? I the guy I've been creating content with is my first. Your first? That's somebody else like it, though. Oh, well. Oh. Wow. wow. I'm going to be the wife and the last and the only. So y'all, y'all, y'all exclusive like that? Private but not secret. Why you don't post? Why you don't post them on the internet? Cause what you need to be in my business for? You believe on? You don't believe in posting like relationships on the internet? What we doing? Is what we doing? Okay, okay. Do you post it? All the time. On the internet? On his Instagram? Mm hmm Why you don't want to post him? I just don't. You ashamed of him? No. Just don't post him. Why are you posting? He act like the girl in the relationship. That's how you like it. It's a choice. I mean, not saying like he recording us kissing and stuff. Like maybe we go on a date. Like, like I said, it's something private but not secret, and it's not I live in a big city, so it's not hard to put two and two together. You believe the prettier woman, the more options she has. Hmm. You the prettier woman, the more options she get. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's between somebody who wanna fuck with you versus somebody who just wanna. Fuck you. You feel like you got a lot of options? That I don't pay attention to, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you too many questions. Hmm? I'm asking you too many questions. Hmm? You're looking down just now. Like, I'm ready for this shit to go. I, was... <laughs> I feel like you're disrespecting me. Just, I'm like, damn. You're trying to fix my what's the name, Pen. I lost it. You can look at me, though. I, I just need, I need a couple more minutes. Okay. I mean, um, do you know what men want? Nah, I'm gonna be real. Nah, cause everybody wants something different. Everybody different. Would you, if you had to guess, what would you think to be? They mama, cause that's what everybody dates. They mama. Somebody who resembles their parent. Think about it. Just really think about it. Mm, you want so the man you date resemble your dad? No. At first he, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I was what? reading. Something. You said what? I was reading something. Um, <laughs> that threw me off guard. Um, no, he had traits of my dad. My dad is very. My dad, I ain't gonna say very. He's a little narcissistic. And he's very, uh, I'm gonna say angry, but my dad's the bigger picture. He wants better. So he pushed real hard for better or doing better. So, in other words, it's like, I don't know. Is it? Okay, okay, okay. Well, mm, okay. And, uh, I feel like this is what men want, right? Here. Sex, silence, and food. Those three things. Very simple. Sex, silence, and food. That's okay. I'm going to be real. Because I asked somebody a very valid question. I said, why do you date white women? And he was like, I don't know. I just find them more attractive than not as aggressive as black women. And I said, what you mean by that? He was like, think about it. My mom, I yell, my mom, let my mom listen to my mama bitch and complain all the time and be mad at the world. When I met Sally Mae over here, she was the most bubbly, sweetest person in the world. I think but my future wife is going to be white too. I really feel like I'm going to end up being with a white man. I really feel that in my No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not white man material. 
<laughs> Who that? Not white man material. How you gonna sit here and tell me I'm not white man material? Not white man material. How you gonna sit here and tell me that? You might get fucked by one, but I don't believe you're married. How you gonna sit here and tell me that? Why you wanna be with a white man though? Why you want to be with a white woman? We ain't talking about me. You start doing that. Start reflecting, deflecting. Why do you want to be with a white man? I didn't say I wanted to be with a white man. Uh -huh. But I would like to date outside of my race. Did you marry outside your race? Depends. Whoever I fall in love with. That's another thing. Black women say they got options. No, y'all don't. Y'all only got us. Nobody else wants y'all. No other races won't try. They might fuck you. You know, try something. Huh? Because the, the, crazy, the crazy part, the person I talk to right now, he's definitely, he's definitely. So, there's that. Mm, right. Uh, you feel like, uh, I don't know. Okay. You feel like social media gave people like messed up the dating game? It messed up gave people short attention fans? The dating? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of dating websites out here. And like I said, if you are seeing what's in your area, it's like that's what you're exposed to versus what's already out there. So if you don't see what you what's out there, how would you know? Cause where you, you feel like dating messed up, so like social media messed up dating in a sense too. Mm -hmm. In what way? Like, oh, we we gotta show we are in love. We gotta show people that we're in love with each other, or we gotta show we gotta go on out. Ain't nobody love stronger than our love. Does I say I really have something mm -hmm. private than not secret? Why he like to post you? Who you think? I don't know. That's a him question. Damn. You must be sucked your soul out. I'm going to say all that. But. <laughs> yeah. uh. And I don't say he post like, I, ain't, I don't know how to put it, but like, we post each other, but we don't sit here over. Like, people know what's going on. Like, hey, man. I appreciate you coming by, stopping by, and shit. Um, got any questions? Before I let you go. Why? Why you being so aggressive? What you mean? No, uh, what you mean? Why you being? I'm being aggressive. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Think I'm about to drink. But now, like, I was, you know, I just felt like, you know, I'm going. to I'm gonna hit these hard, tough questions though. I was going off kind of easy, and I just wanted to hit the. Set me up for a real interview. Huh? Set me up for something a real interview, real nice. You said I set you up good. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate nice. it. Appreciate it. Had the wheels turning. Had the wheels turning. Nice. Appreciate it. You got anything you want to ask me? What made you want to do this? I don't know. I just I feel like I had a voice that needed to be heard, and I feel like others got a voice that needed to be heard. Yeah. So. Feel like it's cool to tap in to people' trauma, who people trauma and people's like what they got going on. We, now look, we don't question the drug dealers. I do. You just gotta keep watching. You gotta watch my shit though. We don't question we don't question the scammers. I do. You gotta watch my channel. I haven't seen it yet. They on there. They on there. I asked them. Just gotta watch. Dude. Just gotta stay tuned. I, I question them. I you know what I'm on top of this. Like I said, I sell a fantasy. Mm -hmm. And I do kind of scam a little bit. Make people You felt yeah. offended with the questions I was asking? Yeah, I did. Well, if you're offended, that means you gotta check yourself. Cause if it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah, I did. So, I got a little. Well, like I said, working on my working on myself. If you feel like I, 
you you felt offended by stuff, you gotta look within why you feel offended by a stranger asking you these questions. You gotta look within and see why you was triggered by that right there. I know my triggers. That's why I was yeah. Cause I knew you was gonna ask me something around what you asked me. And I was like, I had a feeling. So that's why I'm surprised I didn't go off the way I went off. Plus, due to the fact the guy who made the comment, I'm very surprised I didn't go off the way I used to go off. What, what guy made the comment? The one who told me she ain't got it together. Excuse the fuck out of me. Um, if you would have went off, I just would have went off on you back. I mean, there's no need to feed anger with anger. Like, we just two adults having a conversation. Being real with you. That's all we're doing, though. I like how you handle that real maturely. You know, that's all we're doing is talking. Man. Like, I'm going to be real. You could be a very angry person. Really? Well, if you're an angry person, it means you hate yourself, though. That's how it looks. People hate themselves. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. So, but listen, though, man, we're we going to um, cut it right here. I appreciate you coming by, showing love. We're going to tap back in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? We got you. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe to the channel, too, by the way.